Hey, Pat Cleary back again for another episode of Napio News Studio, and welcome. So today we're gonna talk about uh, our conference, our upcoming conference in October. We're gonna talk about uh, our most recent National PEO Week, which was a huge success, and we're gonna update you on the latest on the ERTC. I'm going to Disney World! Okay, but I am going to Disney World, and so are all of you, hopefully. So you know our conference was supposed to be at the Gaylord out in Denver this year, uh, but they're having some renovations, and so uh, those renovations may have been uh, significant, and we decided it was probably a good idea, uh, discretion being the better part of valor, to move the conference, and so we moved it to another Gaylord property in Orlando. So we will be there October 9th through 12th, and we hope to see you all there. We're going to Disney World! So the other big news is, uh, as you uh, all know, I let everybody know uh, in March uh, that I plan to step down when my contract is up in December of this year, the very end of, of this year. So I've been here 12 years. It's been a great run. As I said in my email to all of you, uh, I've got fuel in the tank. I just want to have a, few, a full tank. And this job really requires a full tank. So it's time for somebody else to come in and uh, take the baton and uh, run with it and see what they can do. So it's been a great run, and I'll have a chance to see uh, most of you between now and then, and certainly hopefully see a bunch of you at the conference. Um, but uh, again, it's been a great run. I've been blessed with a terrific team since I've been here. Uh, as I said in my email, uh, you know, they do the work, I take the credit. That's actually been how we've rolled for the last 12 years. Uh, but they really have been terrific, and I'm gonna miss them. And, uh, but the uh, organization's uh, in good financial shape, and we're in good hands. So again, hope to see you all during this year between now and when I find the exit door. Our next topic is National PEO Week. So you see my, I'm always here with, with my NAPIO merch, but look at this. Ta-da! So uh, had you been here for CAP Summit, you would have seen this logo everywhere. It was all over our meeting. It was all over Capitol Hill for our lobby day. And it's all over America. Thank you to all of you who ordered this stuff for your own troops. And uh, you can see that all over our social media, uh, the, uh, the various offices out there, the members uh, with their uh, employees or your employees wearing uh, these shirts or certainly displaying the National PEO Week logo. So I want to thank Carrie Marshall uh, for her dogged determination and creativity in dreaming this up. We're like, wow, do we really want to take this on? But we did, and it was a huge success. So we got uh, Congresswoman Erin Houchin from Indiana, who's a PEO, former PEO employee. She worked for Brent Tilson in Indiana, Tilson HR. She introduced the proclamation into the congressional record. So that's a first, and this will be an annual thing from now till forever. Uh, we have instituted National PEO Week, and uh, it's terrific. So I hope you all were able to celebrate it in your own way. And we certainly got a lot of traction here and a lot of eyeballs all around Washington and around Capitol Hill for our industry and for the first annual National PEO Week. Next topic, the ERTC, the Employee Retention Tax Credit. So we've been busy on that, and we're actually making some progress. So let's turn this over to our VP of Federal Government Affairs, Tom Stoller, who can update us on uh, what we've been doing on the ERTC and on the progress being made. Tom? There's been a lot of activity on the ERTC in the past couple weeks. However, there's been one consistent message coming out of the ERTC, which is not a good message, and that is that the backlog continues to grow. Uh, a week ago, the backlog hit one million. Uh, that is the worst it's been, and it's a very dubious honor for the IRS to have over a million um, unprocessed tax forms awaiting their um, approval. It did drop a little last week, but it's still at 992,000, which is totally unacceptable. And if you go at the rate of clearing out 8,000 a week, it'll only take the IRS 124 weeks to clear out the backlog, which is absolutely unacceptable for the small businesses that have already been waiting up to two years for the ERTC credits that they are entitled to. It has been very eventful on Capitol Hill, though, for the ERTC. Uh, there have been two hearings at the tax committees where the commissioner of the IRS has testified. Um, and he was, in both hearings, pressed on the backlog of ERTCs. In the Senate hearing, he said that the IRS would put people on the backlog and they would clear out 40000 a week. Uh, one week later, at the House Ways and Means he Committee hearing, 
Uh, he was pressed again by several members of Congress on what he was going to do about it, and he said they would clear 50,000 a week and put the people necessary, necessary in to uh, clear that backlog. So we have gotten the commissioner of the IRS to twice at tax committees talk about the ERTC backlog and what he's going to do about it. That is a result of the work that NAPIO and especially NAPIO members have been doing on this issue. At the grassroots level, NAPIO members have sent almost 500 letters to, the, to Capitol Hill on this issue, and PEO clients have sent another 500 letters. The client letters have been particularly effective because they talk about how this delay has impacted the business and what's happened. In many cases, they've had to hit layoffs, take out second loans, and in a couple instances, the companies have actually gone under. So these stories have been very effective in getting Congress to move on this issue. Um, in addition, NAPIO, me, along with some of the lobbyists within the industry, have been visiting the Hill and talking about this issue and pressuring members of Congress to do something about it. This combined effort has resulted in the Commissioner of the IRS being questioned twice on this issue in two separate hearings and then us getting a concession out of him that they will actually put people into clearing out the backlog. And as, at NAPIO, we're going to continue to press just because he said he would doesn't mean they will. We're going to continue to press and make sure that the IRS puts the necessary people in this and clears out the backlog and does it more timely than at 8,000 a week. They actually cleared this backlog out before October like he initially promised. Thank you, Tom. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we're making some progress on ERTC. We're making a lot of progress, uh, but we, we can't do it without you. We need you to weigh in with your members of Congress and make sure that your clients weigh in as well. And we will keep up the pressure until the backlog is zero. So that will wrap it up for this edition of Napio News Studio. The last thing I'll tell you is don't forget to check out our podcast, napio.org slash podcast. Uh, I've been talking to some really interesting people, some iconic people in this industry, uh, people that you likely know, and I hope you'll give it a listen and uh, let me know what you think. So I hope you'll stay tuned for our next edition coming soon. Thank you. Thank you.